Welcome back. We're here with our meteorologist, Jordan Smith. Jordan, what did I just hear you say about wintry mess out there? Yes, unfortunately, and we got several shots at that impacting travel as well. So we need to go ahead and break that down because we have a busy week in store. First, let's take a live look here in Lexington over Hamburg is across our station. You can see kind of just dreariness continuing. No active rain is falling from the sky, but we still have that drizzle. Some fog will begin to set up tonight. We're setting at 47 degrees right now here in Lexington. Washington. And I mean, this is a little chilly, but nothing compared to, you know, what's coming over the next little bit. Again, max HG radar is clear and go ahead and soak that in because we will be starting to track rain tomorrow and then wintry after that. Temperatures are into the low to mid 40s across the entire area. 47 here in Lexington, 45 in Richmond, 45 over there in Moorhead, 43 down for our friends in Hazard. Now look at what's coming while our area is dealing with the 40s, you're talking about 30s, 20s there in Illinois, Indiana. That's what's coming later tomorrow on Monday. So yeah, we do have travel troubles ahead. We have waves of light freezing rain and sleet and also periods of light snow. I think the greatest two chances for those travel issues are Monday night into Tuesday morning and then again Tuesday night into Wednesday. Now this does not look like a lot. We, we likely not to have a lot of snow on the ground. We're not going to get, you know, significant amounts of freezing rain, but it's enough to cause issues. Anytime you're talking about freezing rain, you're going to see issues on the roadway. Throwing a little bit of snow. Yeah, we got tricky travel. Best shot at those travel issues is pretty much anywhere from I-64 down to the south. I think a large portion of our area has a great shot at school delays, cancellations, Tuesday morning, again, Wednesday morning, and then those issues on the road. Further north you go, the lesser the chance of actually seeing some issues. So let's track that out here with our future cast. See, it's trying to show some rain showers later tonight into tomorrow, but this is 8.30 tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, pink, that's freezing rain, sleet, blue as snow. Temperatures begin to cool off. That'll last into Tuesday morning. Temperatures go below freezing, so, you know, whatever falls will still be around. Catch a little bit of a break into the day on Tuesday. Cue up the next round here late Tuesday through Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. So again, it's not a lot. I don't think we're going to, you know, we're not going to pile up snow. We're not going to see a lot of freezing rain issues to cause power issues. There could be a few scatter power outages, but I think the main concern is for that on the road because it, again, it does not take any ice at all, much of any to cause issues. A greater look here overhead, thanks to this area of low pressure that is spreading off to our north, that'll provide the rain showers tomorrow with highs in the low 40s. And then as we get into Tuesday, that AM wintry mess with highs into the low 30s. This isn't the only rounds of precipitation coming. We got another one later Wednesday into Thursday. Models are not having a good handle on this. They're trying to show some rain going over to some freezing rain, but then the, but the models didn't have a good handle on tomorrow night system either, really until last night into this morning. So we'll have to, we'll have, we have time to track that out. We'll worry about that in a few days. Our main concern right now is on the first two waves, two, Monday night into Tuesday and then Tuesday night into Wednesday. Tonight, low of 43 with some drizzle and patchy areas of fog out there. Tomorrow, highs into the low to mid 40s, dropping off tomorrow night with that wintry mix moving late in the night. Here's a quick check at our seven day forecast. Shows that active wintry weather right on through the week. But look at Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We finally take a break and we will need it after this coming week. Of course, we'll keep you up to date and safe throughout the entire event right here on ABC 36 Storm Team. We'll be right back. Save big at Ashley Home Store's two biggest days to save. Save 25% off store-wide with no minimum purchase. Find this queen bed, now only $6.99. Or this home office desk, now only $4.79. Saturday and Sunday only at Ashley Home Store.